Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So the April Fowls event returns in 2023 and here we can obtain some pretty cool rewards along with some consumables that might or might not be useful to you. Now the rewards new this year is this set. You can get a neck and waist piece which we'll test and you can get in particular this gilded goose mount. It's going to be primarily for fashion but it does have four insignia slots, which is new with the mounts coming out in module 25. So it's going to be a free mount that you can obtain that will give that many slots. The one listed on the Zen market is going to cost you 200 Zen, so you could equate this to be that equivalent. However, keep in mind the Gilded Goose. As per the document I made, there'll be a link to this video in the description where you can access this one. will only give the bonus Master's Precision. Nothing else. No other option. And that just gives you that 5,000 critical strike when your stamina is between 25% and 75%. Not something I rate too high and otherwise it's got some unique appearance to it and you can also obtain the vanity pet which is the giddy gooseling just a vanity pet very nice you can preview them just like that you can get the older ones as well just here with last year's mount as well it does only have three slots there so again you'll only get it for the fashion and otherwise you can obtain what this is a visage of the chicken you can obtain the crown has these chickens floating around your head and then these boots these boots basically shoot out chickens little chicks every now and again while you run around and uh yeah then you have seed bread or hot wings as like buff food you could farm in this event not the easiest to farm and uh you would take a lot of grinding to get a lot of this and if you look at the bonuses seed bread power and defense can be useful Maybe for a healer, I would say, but not really anybody else because, uh, yeah, power, if you're running in an endgame group, you're all going to have tamed raptors and then that doesn't, you don't need the power. And then hot wings is crit severity and accuracy. Yep, some classes, DPS players definitely make use of that. Healers, unfortunately, not so much, only just for the crit severity. I guess you could use it as a budget option instead of squash soup, which has got pretty expensive these days. And the DPS, you could use this also as a, an alternative option. You'd have to make a different build around it. But if you are of a class with lots of crit severity, a uh, wizard, thaumaturgia, uh, crit severity is kind of useless there. And then you can just get a bunch of backup seeds here, which turn you into the different chickens. Now, in order to partake in this event and get all of that currency which you can see you need these feathers and you need the bird feed you need to do a bunch of quests alternatively you can jump into the event dungeon which is the sewer most foul but you need to first do your beginning quests which are these ones right here so earl the chicken mancer will give you these quests he'll give you this bird seed as well to actually uh, complete those quests and if you're out of seeds you can speak to him and uh, he should be able to then give you the seeds you miss for example if i accidentally use this one and don't complete the quest while using it or accidentally discard it i can go i'm all out of seeds click continue and it will give you that seed that you are missing for the quest that you may have you used to be able to sell these for copper and it was a bit of an exploit to uh, go ahead now we can see if we check our journal we have a bunch of these quests for this event and many of them will tell you to like eat that uh, particular seed so like it says eat the yellow seed all right right click it use it and we turn into a chicken now it tells us we need to use the chicken power squabble on the squabbler chicken so that's these ones right here squabble that's q so we just run around we can right click to get a speed boost find our next white chicken squabble and so on so once we get our last one done there, we've completed the quest and it wants us to return to the chicken mancer. Before we do that, let's like eat the other seeds. We can hold tab here on PC anyway. We're not chicken anymore and we can eat the next seed. So we eat the red one. This one wants us to go and use the power on the hot headed chickens. So red chickens, we just need to find them. They'll be perching around the place and you can shoot them from a distance like this. That counts as one, two three four and that's five now we change chicken again we eat our next seed the blue one and that'll want us to rush against the uh chickens who are running around the place so you just go you see one who's running and you rush into them with your charge power that counts as one two three four and the last guy five and then we still need to go and eat two more seeds so the green one you just need to heal these blue chickens two three 
four and five and then just our last chicken which is a purple seed and here you're the sneaky scratcher you need to turn invisible and you need to go and uh, walk on top of these guys and then they run off and that's just one of them it's two three four and five and that is all of those quests completed we could just have to run back to mr earl the chicken man sir and uh, he will then give us the currency and the progress for those quests you can see this one's giving me one bird feather seven bird feed the next one the same and all of them will give you that then as well and then what you can do is pick up those quests again and you can just go and you can repeat that however you will get a new quest which will tell you to go to the sewermost fowl and uh, that is it you can get all those five quests again and that quest sewermost fowl will lead you to go to the queue where you can access this dungeon now in this dungeon you'll fight three different bosses and uh, you're all different types of chickens you can very simply go at the starting area here choose what chicken you want to be whether it be like the sneaker scratcher the healer chicken tank chicken or so on each of them have their different powers you can read their tool tips you will have to get through a little bit of the start of the dungeon to get here Otherwise, it's some good fun and uh, you will get more rewards from the chest in the end that gives you currency for this event, like the feathers, the bird feed, and you do have a chance to obtain unbound the ring of foul weather. Only on green though, but you'll be able to sell it. Now, again, let's showcase the rewards from this event. So we have the gilded goose, we have the neck and belt piece there as well and the vanity pet the vanity pet will be in this section of your inventory just here and you can put the giddy goose there and uh, you can see it'll just run around after you I, I don't really rate it as too highly in terms of vanity pets but if you want a duck goose theme there you go you can have that in your collection now the mount itself we can go view it the goose is right here the gilded goose fairly big mount and uh, there you go if you space bar or you just run around, it'll start flapping its wings once you pick up some speed. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy it has some wings. I, I was worried they wouldn't give it any wings. And the space bar, it's uh, just going to flap its wings like that. Unfortunately, it's not going to go quack, quack or anything or like screech at you like a goose would. Otherwise, yeah, we can have a look at the insignia bonuses that it can provide. It wants a barbed, it wants an eye, another eye, and then it wants a crescent here. You can put something other than a crescent, like if I put an illuminated, we get no bonus. We put a barbed, we get no bonus. You put a regal, also no bonus, or you put an enlightened, you also get no bonus. So the only one that will work in here is the crescent, which is the preferred insignia, which will give you 20% extra item level. So it'll have 600 instead of 500 normally. But uh, yeah, you will have to upgrade the mount if you want to make use of the collar adjacent to it. If I want like a mythic collar next to that mount, well, I'm going to have to upgrade this all the way to mythic. There you go. Now we can make use of the collar. But there's no way I'm going to use this bonus on my tank. There's no point. And uh, I'm better off with something else like what I had there, Magistrate's Patience. Just mainly for the boost in defense to your allies. So again, pretty pretty tall amount this event can be a lot of fun and uh if you do want to go pick up some glory uh, that being from the pvp campaign you have that right here you can go and run the chicken pvp and you can get your wins you can get your captures and get your kills it's very nice the event will be fire to the fowls you can queue up to that and uh, you gain a ton of glory through this campaign you can see right here we'd gain like twenty-five thousand glory and at the start you'd gain ten thousand glory and what you can do new with module 25 is actually spend that glory in the adventures guild just here at this npc on the banners they made them so you can just buy them like let's actually claim my glory from the pvp campaign just here let's get that that's our twenty-five thousand glory i haven't claimed it here or here either because just be aware that your 
cap on glory is a total of 50,000 so I could only claim two of those but collecting it there's my 25,000 glory I can now spend it on these artifacts you used to only be able to obtain them if you had the particular seals and uh, thus you weren't able to actually get them now you can obtain them and you could sell them you can upgrade them they do give some nice bonuses which last a full 30 seconds that's unique compared to other artifacts which only last a maximum of like 15 seconds and you can see those banners in your artifacts collections tab all here on mythics now we do have the new neck and waist set to go with the ring of foul weather and i do recommend getting the ring of foul weather if you're like a tank or a healer to basically group up enemies with its vortex ability and the set i wouldn't rank very high you have a 10 percent chance to summon like an aligned chicken and it will attack dealing 125 magnitude but it can only occur every 20 seconds that's it so just attacking with our at will here summons that big chicken and it just is gone then and apparently it just deals the damage by standing there and uh yeah uh, again don't don't invest anything into getting this we did get true on the flank there so it's affected by combat advantage but again no crit so that's the april fouls event for you how to do it and how to make the most of it i don't see it as such a big deal other than a fashion event and yes you can get the gilded goose if you really want to for the extra insignia slot special thank you again to all of these channel members for their continued support we'll see you guys around goodbye for now